Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another random repair video here. Uh, what I have today is um, something actually requested by a friend of mine. And uh, as a lot of you know, I own rental properties and these Wi-Fi thermostats are in all of them. And I buy the Honeywell units uh, for the main reason that it was the first one I bought years ago. Uh, they're priced well, they're inexpensive, and they do their job. And you can put all of your thermostats on one account. So I have like eight on one account, <clears throat> and I can adjust them and see what's going on. It'll also send me alerts if the, uh, say that the temperature falls below a certain mark because maybe the, uh, the heater stopped working or that sort of thing. Now, there is one issue with these if you're going to install it that you've probably run into if you've stumbled across this video is the C wire. Now, what is the C wire? I will uh, quickly explain to you. Obviously it's present here because you see this thing's working and it is uh, connected up, okay? So the C wire here is uh, this guy, okay, um, on this one. So there's three wires here. Now, one, runs your, uh, or these, these two here run as a switch to run your boiler. Um, and your C wire is connected down inside, um, your boiler, or your furnace and should come up to here to run the uh, thermostat. But a lot of you will have only a two wire system, in which case you cannot run one of these, uh, Wi-Fi thermostats will not operate without wire to C. Okay. So, because your, your, your power is coming in on that one. Now I have a solution for you though, um, that's fairly easy and you only need a few things. Now I already have a C wire as you can see and the thermostat was working, but I'm going to go ahead now and disconnect that to show you how we can do it without it. Uh, I have an outlet here, okay? And if we go up the wall, there is the thermostat somewhere. There it is, okay. so. What the goal is here is we're going to run a cable, uh, ideally normally through the wall, kick out at the baseboard or behind the baseboard, come up and plug into that outlet. Uh, if you can do that, this will work. Okay, if, if that, this is not an option for you anywhere in your house, you can't do it, uh, you know, then, then this video is not for you. This is, this is what we need to do. We need to plug into that outlet. So a, a good option here too is, is if you're not worried too much about aesthetics, you don't even have to go through the wall. If you don't have to, you can just come along and go to a, the nearest door frame or corner and staple it, okay? Uh, it's low voltage wire, it doesn't have to be protected. So I'm gonna show you now which parts you're going to need to do this. So you're gonna need some basic tools as well as some uh, two wire thermostat wire if you're doing the plug-in method. This is three wire stuff, so it's a bit fatter than you would need and a little harder to hide. Uh, you're also going to want some um, some cable staples as well. You can staple your thermostat wire to the baseboard or some trim using a stapler like this or by using uh, little clips that you just nail in. You get it nice and nice and tight there. But this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to do a complete install here. Uh, I've done this on a few of my properties and it works great. It's been years and they work great. The magic uh, piece you need to the puzzle is this here. Okay, this is uh, Honeywell. Take a look at that um, part number. I'm not going to read it to you, but it's a 24 volt, okay, AC power transformer. And it has a screw here so it can connect to a normal uh, wall outlet and then there's two screw terminals here for your wire. Okay, so we're gonna send power up to the thermostat. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your power or get your wire between the wall outlet and the thermostat. Um, you know, staple this to the wall, fish it behind walls, do whatever you need to do to get this wire from the back of the thermostat to this unit here, okay? So if you need this, you can check your local supply places for this, but basically it's a 24 volt AC um, output. Nothing too fancy. Uh, and this one's a little under half an amp. So uh, more than enough power to run what, what we're doing here with this little uh, uh, thermostat. And the nice thing about this is this, then the thermostat isn't, um, you know, power robbing from your uh, um, boiler or your furnace, which some boilers and furnaces don't even allow. Okay, so, 
Get yourself one of these, get some wire, and the rest is basic uh, hand tools. And these are cheap. This is very inexpensive stuff. So as you can see here, uh, I, I've only had to connect two of the wires. And I've, I've used the black and the white, and I've connected them to the bottom of this power transformer. So that's ready to go, and that's how it will appear from your wall outlet. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to make the connections up at the thermostat. All right, so I've removed the wires. <clears throat> don't mind this. This is a little long legs Lenore here. I don't know what's going on with that. We've removed, I've removed the C wire that comes from the basement and just temporarily fished this in behind here to just show you how this will work if you didn't have this. So if you just had heat, you'll probably have connected to this R and this RC and then another one going to the W here. Okay, so that will run a normal thermostat, but you'll plug one of these in and it would say, no, 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 you know, this, this is not the way, this is not the way I wanna see the power. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that the, the existing wires that are connected to your thermostat go to the R wire, which is this one here. I just kind of covered it on you there. The R wire, okay, and W wire. And then you see there's a jumper here going over RC. So what we're going to do here and you know, you may have to find a way to remove this jumper on your, you know, RC wire. Um, different brand thermostats may do this differently. This just has a little, uh, a little wire loop in there. So I'm going to take that out of there. Okay, I'm going to tighten that back up. So now the, the, the boiler is still hooked to R and W, but no longer the jumper to RC. So now we're going to go one wire from our new power transformer to RC. All right, just tuck that in there. And then the other one too, yeah, you guessed it, C wire. All right. So let me just go ahead and uh, put this cover, put the thermostat back on the wall, okay. And uh, now, of course, you've fished this through the wall and made this look much prettier than I have. But we're going to wait a second here, and you'll see this doesn't come to life. And that's because we're not plugged in uh, at the wall yet. I'll show you that quickly, and then we'll be good to go. Now, working back down here at the wall outlet, we're just going to remove this screw. And then we're just going to go ahead and plug this power transformer in here, into the bottom. Okay. And then this screw tightens up. And you can pretty up your wiring, stapling it or doing uh, whatever you need to. Okay, so I've un unplugged that power adapter from the wall. And you can see my ugly wiring job here. Don't mind that. I'm sure in your house you will do a much nicer wiring job. I'm just showing you the tools you need to get her going. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in now. <clears throat> All right, it's plugged in. Now you wait a second and you will see this thing come online. There we go. So I just heard the relays click in there and you've now powered this externally. Um, it, it's very, very easy to do. Uh, the better you are with, with uh, fishing wires and hiding things, the, the better job you, know, you, you could do and you can have a better outcome. Um, you know, be, be creative with your wire placement. Again, this is low voltage. So if it is exposed, it's, it's not a big deal. It's not a, you know, a, a code violation or a problem or anything. So basically that's uh, how you run one of these without a C wire. It may seem like a lot of work, but it's honestly, it's on Amazon, 15 bucks in parts and these Wi-Fi thermostats are great. So yeah, we're back in line and there's our Wi-Fi connection. Anyway, I hope this video helps at least one of you out. If it does, then it was totally worth making. Uh, hit subscribe. You know, you never know when I'm gonna put a video out that just might help you and my videos only come out you know, once a month when I actually find something worth putting on there. Okay, so uh, hit subscribe, like the video, comment in the comment box. Thanks for watching.